So, at least now we have a weapon against those dangerous enemies, but won't have a limited amount of charges, so we can't really rely on it. I wonder if we can see the amount of charge it is has. That was a pretty decent find, though. If we encounter some incredibly powerful enemies, I don't think we have any realistic chances of killing. That one should be just what we require. Did we visit here? I have so bad memory. Probably because here yeah, we probably visit here. These places look all the same, and it's really easy to if you turn turn around quickly to lose orientation there. Yeah, I think we'll try for the northwestern caves. Just try to stay alive, avoid close range combat as much as possible. That would require, I think, uh, some decent armor. And even more hit points, because you have to survive a hit made from a giant. And that's a pretty slow order. That's a tough... Oh. Well, we do have the option to explore the southern part. There doesn't seem to be... I mean, the southwest portion. There's no obvious point of interest there, though. So... Maybe the... No... Maybe the waterfall, but that's about it. It all looks the same. Otherwise, no caves, no nothing. No, I think we'll go straight up north. And just hope we don't encounter too many giants. Well, we do have the option of running away, but... Dire, three dire wolves and a grizzly bear, Jesus. I guess dire wolves would be okay opponents, but three of them and a grizzly, so these are just two risky fights. Yeah, we have to reposition our forces. If if all if all the hostiles can attack us like in the open like that, we're not gonna make it, no chance. Yeah. Yeah. We're already half dead. First combat on this side of the bridge. This is pretty bull crap. I have more health, so... Oh, what crappy damage. At least one down. That bear, yeah, that bear is going to be a problem. I wonder if anyone is going to survive this one point of damage. Yeah, that bear is going to kill everyone. We need to get rid of it now. The wolves are not nearly as dangerous. I'm getting a little tired at this point. <laughs> Back again to the city. That didn't last long. If it's not a giant, it's a bear.
and more dial. This is a much more reasonable encounter. One dial. There's no way we can die. But he can do damage to us, wound us. So and we have to waste spells to heal those damage so it'll drain us of our resources before we encounter the main battle at the caves. That seems like a reasonable design to me. But now we have to go back and forth because our team is of too low level to actually survive where the game seems to want us to go. I'll heal the war because I need someone to tank damage. So it's better if one of us is in decent health than trying to heal the health that can't tank anyway. At least we are getting some experience from this, so it's not all for nothing. Three of us have already leveled. The most important level up is probably Dale, because he has the utility magic at this point, meaning sleep spells. It should affect humanoids, I think and be pretty powerful when we have to encounter beastmen with probably an outnumber as to a significant degree. So we we'll really need something to even up the odds against large group of enemies. And sleep spell is just a thing. I suppose we could have used the lightning rod, but I, I feel wrong using it on things like a bear. Because that's nothing special, that's like... We'll probably encounter like a dozen bears before we'll reach those caves. And with any little luck we should be able to kill bears without losing anyone. It's just that we haven't been all that lucky. Ladies and seat are worried about crossing the bridge, so am I. Mainly because I fear another going back and forth to the castle and not actually progressing anywhere in this game. Yeah, I don't... We need to... Northwest. Let's see about how easy it's to avoid combat in this game. They don't seem to be... Yeah, what the hell is that? Beastman, giant... Maybe this seems like a defensible position. I mean, good chance that the AI will get stuck on something. And we need experience, so I'm not above farming stupid AI. Especially since we can get one shot at at this point. So we really need those level ups. Okay, 6 damage. That's really good damage, actually. It's already at our health. So, with luck, only a few turn or two and it's dead, and pose no risk to us. So, or maybe this game expects us to exploit the AI. The dwarf is now on level 3, and we have still level 1 L. Okay, this can be very lops. I think the dwarf is going to get levels pretty fast in this game. Not because he's any better, really, but because he's our point man. So 
so he's going to get more hit, hit more and do damage more. While the backup support characters will be dragging behind in levels. 